Hello YouTube, this is MTX Automotive coming at you with a video um, on a, I believe it's a 2008 Yamaha Rhino 660. Uh, this uh, UTV has been in my shop now for probably a month and a half. It has a, or had a problem where it would um, start cutting out and running horribly when, as soon as you put it in gear. Forward or reverse, didn't matter. Um, uh, it would idle fine when you put it in neutral. You could race the motor up. It would, everything would run fine until you put it in gear and it would run like crap. And when the customer brought it to me, he had installed a, a new coil coil wire, spark plug, a new uh, fuel pump, and he had also put a new rev limiter on it. And uh, so he was at the end of his uh, rope with it. So he brought it to me and um, I done, I put a, an electric fuel pump on it, tried that, it didn't work, didn't, do, didn't change anything. I rebuilt the carburetor for him that didn't change anything. I uh, set the valves, that didn't change anything. And I done a compression leak down test on it and discovered that the exhaust valves were leaking air. Um, and it had a, a pretty bad exhaust leak because one of the gaskets in the, in the muffler was bad. So I sent the head off and got the valves redone, new stem seals, uh, got the valves reground, all that good stuff. And then I got a gasket and, and fixed the exhaust leak, reset the valves, uh, and problem's still there. And uh, then I also uh, took this cover off here on the flywheel side and installed a pulse coil or pulser coil, which is what tells the uh, ignition coil when to fire. Uh, installed that. No change, still running like crap. And so I then started honing in on, and then I, I swapped all the relays around, uh, tested all of that, tested the voltage. Um, this, I was getting close to giving up. And um, so I was hon honing in on the fact that it would idle just fine and rev up just fine in neutral. The instant you put it in gear, then it would start running bad instantly. You kick it into neutral, bam, the problem went away. So I, um, I inspected and tested the gear selector. All that seemed fine. Uh, I squeezed this little terminal together. Some people had said that that uh, got loose and caused a false reading on the reverse, made it think it was in reverse all the time. Um, and that um, sounded plausible, and, and that's why I was honing in on that, that area of the system, because um, the thing acts like it's in reverse all the time, when you, whether, whether it's in drive or reverse. It, it, when, it, when it's in forward, even, it acts like it's in reverse. And I'll demonstrate this to you in a little bit. Um, uh, anyway, then uh, the next thing was lower down the speed, uh, speed sensor, uh, which is right there. Um, and it has a long plug-in pigtail, and it, it's actually up under the, the um, center part of the console. Um, Anyway, I would, had pulled it out and just looked at it, and I was kind of in the process of checking uh, the continuity of the wires uh, going to the ECM, PCM, whatever you want to call it, and I could feel this connection right here. It felt like it was very tight, and uh, so I thought, I, mean, I better check that and, and look at my uh, wires. They could be pinched or broken or something. So that's when I opted to pull this cover off, and then I seen this plug, and um, something just told me to unplug that and start it, try it. I did, 
and the problem went away. So I found my problem and I will I will demonstrate it at this time. So I've got this plugged in and I'll start the start the uh, the unit. You can you can hear it missing horribly and then I'll just unplug this and the problem instantly goes away. So anyway, uh, the problem is either it's, it, it, it might not be the speed sensor. It could be in the wiring, um, but uh, we're going to go with the speed sensor for now. And I also, in the process of all the, uh, the diagnostic work, I borrowed a CDI from another, from a friend of mine, tried it, still done the same thing, so I knew it wasn't that. Um, so anyway, okay, we're going to fire this thing up. I've got a neutral light. I'm going to let my daughter hold this camera. So there you have it. Um, this is just nuts. I've spent a lot of time on this thing to get to this point. And I know there'll be people out there that say, oh, why didn't you check that first? You know, well, there's a million things on this thing that will cause the exact symptoms that this thing had. I mean, everything that I checked would have caused that symptom. Carburetors cause that symptom. Bad valves cause that symptom. Exhaust leaks cause that symptom. Um, pulsar coils cause that symptom, bad coils cause that symptom. Um, so, you know, it's just a, it's, it's a process of elimination. Um, and um, this thing, the plug-in was just uh, it's deep. And, and actually, I didn't know that if it even had a plug-in. I thought it might just went straight to the uh, CDI box. But uh, when I Googled a picture of the speed sensor I've seen it had a plug so anyways I hope someone out there found this useful because I found nobody on the on Google or YouTube or anywhere else that had solved this kind of problem with the speed by replacing the speed sensor or being speed sensor related uh, and the reason I'm saying that is it could be in the wiring I'll figure that out soon enough but um, yeah 660 Rhino, it's running like crap when you put it in gear. Check your speed sensor. And that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.